Well, so far this season, Mansfield men's basketball has been out of character. The Mounties 0-2 to start out of the gate and in search of win number one. Tonight, they returned home, a good place to get it done. Mounties hosting Penn Tech. First half, pick up the action. Joe Bell finding a wide open Charles Beatcoats for three and feel the buzz. Zzz, that's good. Mounties up early. Penn Tech hanging in early, though. It's Nathaniel Brown. He will stop, pop, and hit. 11-9 Mansfield. And this fan has some crazy hair right here. Yeah, look at this. And here it comes. Oh, look at that. Wants the W for Pentec. No answer for this man, though. Beatcoats with another three later in the half. He was one of six Mounties in double figures tonight. He had 10. And I almost had some points right here off the pass from Joe Bell. Coming right in your living room and almost got it, but not quite. All Mounties tonight, they blow up Pentec. 103 to 60, their first win of the season. All right, well, most of the time when you see a large spider, it can be scary or just downright frightening. According to the Cross's Austin, Kate showed us today why being a spider is anything but that. Kate signed a national letter of intent with the Richmond Spiders in Virginia to play lacrosse. The standout defenseman is an all-section four pick and has been a multi-year member of the Nike Upstate Rising and All-Star Under Armour Elite team. Kate is excited about taking his talents to the next level. It's, it's super exciting. I mean, you get you get flashbacks of what's happened in the years uh, in the past, and um, I'm just I'm really excited for it. And I mean, it's just it's very emotional with my family and everyone like that. So yeah, I can't wait. All right. Well, on Saturday they did it. Elmira football advanced to their first ever New York State Class AA Final Four. The Express top Syracuse CBA in the final minutes of the game. Now it's on to the big show. 10-0 Elmira will face number one ranked Rochester Aquinas Saturday at 6 p.m. at Salem Stadium in Rochester. And get this, the Little Irish, yes, the Little Irish, they're 11-0 on the year. And getting here, well, that was great for the Express, but that's not enough. We expect our players to play 110% every single day, every single down, every single game. And, you know, it's it's they, they're taking us this far. You know, they... They're, they're doing a great job. You know, these our, our expectation is to win every single game. All right, that's not all the football this week in New York State Class D. Number two, Tioga, they're 11-0. We'll take on number one, Randolph, who's also 11-0. And what could be the real state title game? That one Friday at 5 p.m. at Salem's. Plus, in Pennsylvania, one team remains out of the NTL. That's Detroit Trojans. They're 10-2. They've got a shot to get a District 4 championship in Class AA. They can beat the Ironmen of Danville on the road. That's right, the Ironmen. This game also Friday night at 7. And they end out with this big news for golf fans. The Dick Sporting Goods Open is August 11th through the 17th at Enjoy Golf Club in Endicott. So mark your calendars right now for the PGA Champions Tour event, the premier one in all of the area. Odds are you'll see the big timer. Horsehead's native Joey Sindelar returned to the event as well.